Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Today on The Breakdown, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite Dutch oven recipes for breakfast. So I'm out here with my family, and we're going to be cooking German pancakes this morning. So, got my Dutch oven, got my briquettes, matches, and then I prepared my ingredients before I left home. So, I'll go ahead and include that here on the video so you can see everything that you're going to need before we get started. Okay, so now that you've seen the ingredients, first thing I want to do, I've got a 10 inch Dutch oven, so I'm going to need 20 chark briquettes. So I'll go ahead and count these out and put these in the fire and get those started. Alright, I always like to do a couple extra just in case you have any trouble starting any of them, but we'll go ahead and light these up and that way they can get started while we're mixing up our German pancakes. Okay, so we've got our briquettes going. Um, whenever I'm going out camping, I try and do all the hard work at home so when I get out here, it's going to be a lot easier on me. So I've got my eggs here. I've went ahead and put my milk just in a Ziploc twist container like that. So it's in my cooler. It's going to stay cold and it's already pre-measured for a cup and a half. And then I put all my dry ingredients together here. So I've got my flour and I went ahead and put my teaspoon of salt in this little baggie as well. So once I start mixing everything together, then it's going to be that much easier once we get started. So with my Dutch oven, it's already seasoned and ready to go. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take my stick of butter, put it inside, and I'm going to set that on top of my briquettes and let that melt. And the reason why you let it melt is it just makes it easier when you're cooking for it to spread throughout your batter and everything so you'll have a nice uniform mixture together. So. I'll go ahead, put my butter in, and we'll put it on to let it melt, and then we'll be right back. Alright, so my butter's all melted now inside the Dutch oven. I'm going to pull this off the heat, and I'll let my briquettes keep burning so I make sure that all of those are lit and ready to go. Okay, so go ahead and set that there. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take my milk and just dump that inside. And the other nice thing about melting the butter first is that it's going to coat the Dutch oven and it'll help it not stick so bad at the end. But this is pretty good. It's a pretty easy non-stick recipe. So I've got my eggs here. And we'll go ahead and start putting in all nine. Okay, I've got all nine eggs in there. I'm gonna go ahead and just mix this up and beat the yolks down. Okay, so I've got a nice eggy milky buttery mixture going here. Last thing I'll do is take all my dry ingredients and just slowly add those as I'm stirring and what I want to do is just keep mixing this until it gets nice and frothy. Okay, so now that I have that all mixed, again, it's nice and frothy, blended as evenly as I can get it. So what I'll do is I'm going to take my Dutch oven and put it on my briquettes now. Because I have a 10 inch diameter Dutch oven, I double that, which gives me the 20 briquettes that I poured and lit. Now when I'm cooking, I'm going to lose more heat out the top of the Dutch oven than I am on the bottom because the ground is insulating it. So I'll take my 10 inches, I'll subtract 2, which gives me 8 and that's how many I'll have on the bottom. I'll add two on top, which gives me 12. And so that's how you can always know a good number to get a good even cook on your Dutch oven. So I'll go ahead and add the briquettes onto this now, and we'll let it cook and see how it turns out.
Alright, so everything's cooking really well. You can feel the heat when you put your hand over the top. Another kind of cool thing, if you can ever find one of these, this is made by Camp Chef. This is called the Dutch Oven Dome. And what it is, is it's an insulated bag. And you can just take this, open it up, and slide it right over the top of your Dutch oven. That's just going to help hold the heat in that much better, make your breakfast, dinner, lunch cook that much faster. So, kind of a cool thing from Camp Chef. We'll just keep this cooking and we'll check on a few minutes. Alright guys, uh, it's been about 10-15 minutes. Let's go ahead and pull this off and check and see how it's doing. Get rid of our dome. It's getting there, that's for sure. So, probably needs... I don't know, 10, 15 more minutes, but everything's looking good. So what I'm looking for on this is you want to just let this thing cook, and as it cooks, it's going to expand and kind of blow up, and you just want to get that nice and golden brown. So needs a few more minutes, but we'll check back in a few. All right, let's take this off and see how we did. There you go. That is a fully ready German pancake in the Dutch oven. So we'll go ahead and just cut that up, put it on a plate, add some syrup and some powdered sugar. Be good to go. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you on the trail.